Lesson one, two, multiplication on the number line. Multiplication on the number line. What is the number line? So you can use a number line and skip counting. What is the number line? Let's read it. A number line, a line that shows numbers in order using a scale. Number line, a line that shows numbers in order using a scale. So in order, for example, here the picture shows from 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on, in order. Okay, let's read the, uh, the uh, question. Clara is making gift bags for her five friends. She wants to put three glitter pens in each gift bag. How many glitter pens does Clara need? How many uh, does she need? Uh, so she will give five friends. Each uh, friend, she will give him a bag with three glitter pens. You can use a number line and skip counting to show multiplication. How? Let's see. Draw arrows on the number line to show the number of glitter pins for each gift bag. So here we have five friends and uh, three and uh, uh, five. She wants to give five bags to five friends. In each, uh, in each gift, we, she put three glitter pins. It means five friends, it means five skip, skip counting or, uh, or five jumps, five jumps. As we can see, this is the first one, second jump, third jump, fourth jump, fifth jump. So I have five jumps. How much in each jump? Three, because three pins, okay? Three pins, so three plus three, six, plus three, nine, plus three, 12, plus three, 15. So how many jumps? Five. So how many pins does she need? 15. So skip counting by three, three, six, nine, because three plus three, six, six plus three, nine, nine plus three, 12, 12 plus three, 15. How many times how many, or how many jump? Five. One, two, three, four, five, because they are five friends. So what we can say about this multiplication, that five times three equals 15. Five jumps, in each jumps I have three. So five times three, it will give me 15. So Clara needs 15 glitter pins. Let's move to the next page. In four, complete the arrows on the number line to show the jumps and fill in the planks. Jim ran three miles a day for four days in a row. How many miles did he run? So uh, he ran three miles a day. Okay, in each day he ran three miles in four days. So how many uh, he will skip counting by? Three, from zero to three, because three miles. Okay, how many jump he will do? So in each day, one jump, but for four days, it means four jumps. So uh, he will jump in each three. So from zero to three, plus three, three plus three, six. Six plus three, nine. Nine plus three, 12. How many jumps now? One, two, three, four jumps. And in each, they are three. So how much it will be? How many miles he ran in four days? So the number of jumps, as we can see, one, two, three, four. I skip counted by, by three. Three plus three, six. Six plus three, nine. Nine plus three, 12. So I skip counted by three. So Jim ran how many miles? 12. So what does this mean? Four times three equals 12. Four times three equals 12. 
I will solve with you uh, question number six. In six and seven, show the multiplication fact with arrows on the number line, write the product. So seven times two, it means seven jumps. So the first number shows the number of jumps times two. Two, uh, you, you have to skip counting by two. Skip counting by two. So from uh, seven jumps, each jump two. So from zero to two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I skip counting by two. How many times I jump? Seven times. So seven times two, how much? Four, T. Question number seven. Three times three, it means three jumps, and in each jump, three. So from zero to three, one. From three plus three, six. Six plus three, nine. So here we have three jumps in each three. So three times three equals two, nine. 